Hey everybody, welcome back to my Star Wars channel. We would be honored if you would join us. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. We are walking around the Black Spire Marketplace in Galaxy's Edge, Walt Disney World. Uh, this is 2021. This is my first visit. My first visit to Galaxy's Edge ever. And I thought we'd start with the Black Spire Marketplace because... Uh, I really wanted to buy a lot of souvenirs. Uh, surprisingly though, not a lot of stuff I was particularly interested in. Uh, I heard that because of COVID and just getting things from overseas, uh, Disney stock is kind of low on a lot of things. Uh, there was also one store I didn't end up going to. I spent more time in Black Spire Marketplace than uh, I had probably planned. And so looking for stuff for me, uh, for my kids, and uh, there's a couple stores here on the marketplace. There's the Toy Dorian Toy Maker, which is where uh, we're gonna talk about today. There's a creature stall that has a really cool like animated Lothcat out in front. There's a costumes and outfitters place where you can pick up some costumes. And there's a jewelry store. There's also a popcorn stand at the end, uh, a restaurant at the end. And if you're trying to find Black Spire Marketplace, it's just past Rise of the Resistance around the corner. So in Toy Darien Toy Maker, there's toys, of course, uh, all kinds of toys, mostly stuffed animals, but I was able to find the Sabak game way in the back. Now here's the Sabak box. Uh, this retails for $17. And inside, you're gonna get 62 cards, two dice, and the instructions. Now, why did I pick up Sabak? Because if you've watched my channel, you know that I already reviewed the board game Sabak. Well, uh, I talked to the employees and figured that the game was fairly similar, but I also noticed that the cards were taller and they had a more uh, grown up, more collectible look, whereas the older game, uh, the board game, has something that looks more like it's for kids. So I thought we'd compare the two side by side in case you were thinking about picking Sabak up. And let me just say out in front, uh, towards the front of the entrance of Black Spire Marketplace, there is a place where uh, one of the cast members demos some of the games for you. And so she's able to play some of the games with you just to kind of get you interested in them. And so if you're still curious, I would head over there and maybe play a couple hands. So side by side, these are the two boxes. Uh, the Sabak box from Galaxy's Edge looks kind of like a coffin. It's the same shape as the cards. And the board game, of course, is a larger box. And of course, I picked this up because of the cards. And so here's the back design. As you can see, the standard board game, the cards are smaller. And they say Star Wars on the back. Whereas the ones from Galaxy's Edge have a Toy Darian. And it looks more Star Wars-y. You're also going to notice the faces are different. So with the board game, you will actually have a number. So if it's a negative three, there's a three, right? Or a plus two, it's a two. And it shows that, right? Uh, and just as a reminder, uh, positive cards are green, negative cards are red. But if you pick up the Black Spire game, uh, there are no numbers. So you would need to count the pips to know if it's you know one through nine. The other interesting thing about the Black Spire cards is they actually have suits. So there's three different suits that are denoted by circles, triangles, and squares, and they call these staves. Um, the board game only has triangles, so they're all triangles. The other interesting thing about the Black Spire set is they have court cards. So starting at number seven, uh, seven, eight, nine, and 10, are all solid faces and original artwork. So staring at the seven, there's nothing on there that is a seven. You just have to recognize and memorize this symbol as being seven. This symbol is eight, and this symbol is nine, and this symbol is 10. And the way I kind of remember it is, seven is a number that has angles to it, and so this kind of X has an angle. Uh, eights are round, and so that kind of reminds me of an eight. Uh, and then the 9 and the 10 remind me of the queen and the king. So this 9 looks kind of like a queen, and the 10 kind of looks like a king. And so that's kind of how I'm remembering it. Otherwise, uh, the object of the game is the same. You're going to score as close to zero as you can with your cards. You're going to choose someone to be the dealer, and that person deals out the first round, and it goes on from there. And of course, the gameplay is pretty much the same 
as the board game. Uh, the thing about the board game is it also has the uh, chips, right? It has the dealing chips. They're the, the things that you bet with or win. So on one side are the gold pieces and on the other side are the spaceships and the weapons. Uh, my sons still like that aspect of the board game that they're able to use these chips uh, to win prizes. Of course, the Black Spire version doesn't have that. The other difference is the dice. I think the dice that come with the board game are a little bit more defined. It's white on gray, whereas the Black Spire dice a little bit more subtle, but you use the dice in the exact same way. And if you need a reminder about how to play Sabacc, I would refer you to go back and watch my original post. The other noticeable difference about the Black Spire game is they've changed the rules a little bit. So if you're going to swap a card, say, uh, and discard a card, in the Black Spire rules it says you need to discard first, whereas in the board game it doesn't say that. So in the board game I guess you could draw a card and if you were looking at your hand and you didn't like one, you could then discard. But with the Black Spire game, it says you need to discard first if you're planning to discard. Otherwise, you have to, when you draw a card, either from the discard pile or from the main pile, you have to keep everything in your hand until your next turn, and then you could discard. Also on the back of the Black Spire instructions are a bunch of winning hands. So similar to poker, like full house, straight, things like that. Uh, you see what pure sabacc is, or full sabacc, a fleet, a yeehaw, a rylet, a squadron, a gee whiz. Uh, there's all kinds of names to the hands. Um, the graphics on this are really small, <laughs> and I don't know how easy it would be to control, uh, you know, what hand you get, but it's cute. It's fun gameplay because it gives you a little bit of uh, names to go along with your winning hands. So for me, the positives for the Black Spire sabacc are... Uh, I like the back design better. I like the height of the cards. I like the originalness of them. They don't look, you know, as kiddy or as board gamey. They look more Star Wars-y. Uh, negatives, I like the dice from the other board game better. So who knows, I might swap out the dice just because they're a little bit more defined. And that's the nice thing about having both sets is now I can kind of mix and match. And if my kids still want to play uh, with the chips, they still can. So that's my quick review of the Sabak game from the Toydarian toy maker located in Black Spire Marketplace, of course, Galaxy's Edge, Walt Disney World. I'll be posting more Galaxy's Edge, Walt Disney World videos uh, shortly and uh, giving you the rundown of everything I saw and liked. And uh, may the force be with you. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.